out there in TV land. <laughs> The purpose of putting the festival together was so we could kind of bring the talent of all these young musicians that aren't really recognized because of the type of music they play. And we're just trying to give it exposure and let everybody know what it's really all about, man. It's not like it's all about drugs and, and suicide and all this. You know, it's really some real talented bands that we're out here to have fun. Is that why you decided to make it free? Yeah, and that's why it's free. That's the whole purpose of it, you know. We're not trying to make money off of this or anything. To make it down. Check out all the bands and have a good time. We want everybody to make it out here. It's free and, you know, it's we're not trying to make money off of it. We're just trying to expose these guys and let everybody know that they're really talented musicians. <laughs> Um, we're scum of the earth, and um, as deemed by uh, the general public. And um, my name's Chris Thomas. I play guitar. I'm 19. This is Robert. Robert Hulk, 19. I play bass. Robert Nutt. I'm, I'm Robert Nutt. I'm, I play drums. Really? And I'm 19, I think. Are you any good? We're all 19. Woo woo. What? Why did you decide to play this festival? Because uh, Manuel the Underground asked us, to, it was really cool of him to put on this, <laughs> and uh, he's done a lot for you know all these bands out here. It's really cool. And, uh, don't you want to ask us another one or something? I got one more question. <laughs> um, when and if you ever become famous or on a record label, will you still support un local bands? Well, uh, I don't think we'll ever become famous because our music is it's more of like a musician's type music. It's not. We don't play rock, we don't play 4-4, four, four, we play melody line, try to be original. And um, I think we'll get a, a record contract eventually, hopefully, but I don't think we'll become successful, but we'll always support bands that have integrity, you know. So how did the show go? Well, the underlying the undertones of the modulistic Zen Buddhist thought were kind of flowing a little bit evenly, you know. I thought the, you know, this is a good gig. There's only one good thing to do. You feel like suicide. Ooh, fuck you, Lemus. I'm George Reagan and Uncle Scam. Scott Crump, Uncle Scam. Okay, we have a couple questions about the Pagan Festival. Why did you decide to play this festival? Because uh, there's going to be a lot of people here, and Underground Records help us out a lot. And that kind of stuff. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, that's why. Um, when and if you ever become famous or get on a record label, will you still be supporting underground local bands? Definitely, because that's the best thing about the whole scene, is the underground bands, the local bands. How will you support them? Well, basically, we are an underground local band, so <laughs> what the hell? Why wouldn't yeah. we support them? Yeah, we get we get signed. Um, probably because uh, well, we'll probably just end up if we like ever get rich and famous, which I doubt it. We'll end up uh, having them uh, open up for us and stuff like that, you know, and, and try to get them signed and so on. Help everybody out, man. That's the way the business goes, you know. Help everybody. Anybody that helps you, help them. They screw you around, 
Screw them. Why did you decide to come here? Well, I heard it was free. We knew you'd be out here with the camera. <laughs> and I want to be on TV. Oh. <laughs> and can I be a movie star? setting up drums. Uh, why did you decide to play this festival? Uh, well, we were invited. We played it last year and it was great. And uh, we just thought we'd do it again. Um, when and if you ever become famous or on a record label, will you still support underground local bands? You bet, yeah. How will you support them? Well, that's hard to say. I mean, you don't know what opportunities are going to present themselves to you when you're <laughs> making money. But, um, you know, whatever it takes. If it takes getting other bands on before us, or if it takes putting other bands on in front of us, or whatever. Yeah, when you're rich, you can kick around that money, you know, and give it to the other bands. Whoa! Look! Look, 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 look! They're invading! <coughs> it's a skate ramp! Arcane and my name is Byron Hawk. Arcane and Oscar Barber. Why did you decide to play this festival? Well, Turner asked us to play about a month ago, probably longer when they first first had they first had it set up different. And then we went on down the line and ended up adding a bunch more bands and rearranging the schedule and everything. And we said we're gonna play. We play anywhere. It don't matter. Um, when and if you ever get on a label or you know, become successful, do you think you'll still be supporting underground local bands? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if, I, if something happens and we get signed and there's a band around here that's friends of mine that I think is good enough, I'll do what I can to help them out. Because I've got friends now that are in bands that are getting signed that are helping me out, you know. That's just how it goes. And how would you help them out? Introduce them to a and people, tell them who to send their demos to, give them good references. <laughs>
get an interview and a release form from Gamma Side and Morbid Street. We only have four bands to do. Yeah. But Dreadside and Puzzles Revealed aren't here yet. So we'll do that later. Gamma Side and Morbid, Morbid Scream are about now by Gamma Side. So we can take care of that as soon as possible. Are you doing that game? Make, make her go, make her do strobe, do strobe. I know that's what I was doing. Hello, Shelly. Hello, Shelly. Hello, Shelly. Hello, Shelly. Why did you decide to play this festival? Because it was cool, man. A lot of people be out here, man. It's sunny. Um, when and if you ever become successful or get on a major record label, will you still support underground local bands? Can you right. Uh, how will you support them? In any way I can, you know, financially or whatever. Mostly by, you know, the band support. Because, you know, we're, we're all for the underground scene and everything, man. It's cool. <laughs> So what are you doing to keep cool? Uh <laughs> let's test how cold this water is. Why did you decide to play this festival? Well, actually, we're on our way home from our North American tour, and we happen to be passing through the town. Came across a pagan festival in Z-Rock, so we're here. Um, <laughs> this is all an insecticide. <laughs> yeah, it started without us. No. <laughs> well, what are we doing here? A short, a short pagan festival interview. Yeah, okay. Um, when and if you ever become famous or on a record label, will you still support underground or local bands? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to. How will you support them? Uh, let's see here. Uh, not charging high admission prices and sticking to the roots. Playing some good hard tunes. Also, um, by supporting the smaller bands, you know, instead of <laughs> bucks, 20 bucks to go see like Iron Maiden or something, spend six bucks to see a hardcore band. Yeah. Pardon me? Oh yeah. We'll, we'll keep basically if we if we establish ourselves, we'll keep playing the, the same places, you know, that we've been playing now. Just We'll play as much as we can wherever we can, you know, and just keep the ball rolling at all times. This is the insecticide van, huh? Yeah. Believe it or not, we've gone all the way across the United States and Canada, so... It barely made it. Here we are. That's it broken down? Well, no. It hasn't broken down. 
we had trouble at the starter, that's about it. Actually, it runs better than it looks. <laughs> Fiction for you here. What's it called? Torture of Humanity. Nuclear crucifixion and we from New Orleans. We like to rock here because, you know, we can't get too many gigs out in New Orleans. You know? Prime Pat and Lee Guitars. Um, why did you decide to play this festival? Um, because we really like Dallas. We like Dallas, it kicks. Yeah, it really kicks. And uh yeah, the people are really cool out here. It's not like uh everybody wants to uh put you down for the music you play, you know? But they, you know, they listen to it and if they accept it for what it is instead of um, deny it for, for what it ain't, you know? Uh, if you ever become successful like getting on a record label, will you still support underground local bands? You bet, definitely, I definitely do. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And how would you support them? I would help them get record contracts. Support them, put money, invest, invest in them, you know? What's a pagan? What's a pagan? You know what a pagan is. A pagan is a festival. Hey, a pagan, what does it mean? Are you a pagan? A pagan has nothing to do with material values. Throw it away. And um, we like sex and drugs and heavy metal and things like that. That's all we live for, that and, you know, um, Satan, of course. What is that? People, people against goodness and normalcy. Yeah, people against goodness and normalcy. That's what it's about. Uh, we're from LA. From LA, Los Angeles, California, man. Texas is rad. Texas is rad. <laughs> Process Reveal helped us get on the bill, and it was really cool. But we decided this Thanks. Uh, and we heard about this festival, and then when they asked us if we wanted to play, we said, yeah, for sure. Um, when and if you ever become successful and get, like, on a record label, will you still support underground local bands? Yeah, underground, it would, you know, if there wasn't an underground, there wouldn't be Tyrannicide. And when we get back, we're going to sign. We're, there's a good chance we're going to sign when we get back, put out a record, and we're going to come back this way for sure, because it's a great place to come. How would you support the other band? Well, I used to do a magazine, and I write, I, I write for a lot of zines, and I do, you know, I try and keep up on the local bands and help them out. I'm going to be managing a couple other bands when I get back, too. I help out a bunch of bands out in the Bay Area, so that's basically where my efforts are. <laughs>
Steve Murphy from Process Revealed. And why did you decide to play this festival? Um, basically, I don't know, it just seemed like they were putting a lot of promotion into it, and it seemed like a pretty good thing at the time. A lot of bands playing, it's gone pretty smoothly, and a lot of people getting into it, a lot of new people seeing the band, so I guess that's the main reason. Also, I live right across there, so I always wanted to play and bug, bug my neighbors who have a dog that's real loud that I don't like, so. Um, if you ever become successful, like getting on a record label, do you think that you will uh, still support underground local bands? Well, I'm gonna support anything that I like that I think is creative and good, you know. for Gamma Side. Um, why did you decide to play this festival? Well, because, you know, all the other bands were playing it. We figured it was going to be a real cool thing. You know, I figured just about anybody that, that's in the metal and DFW is probably going to be here, so uh, it's a good chance for some people who hadn't seen us before to check us out. And when and if you ever become successful and get a record deal? Uh, <laughs> when and if you ever become successful and perhaps get a record deal, will you still support underground local bands? Yeah, we'll always be an underground band, you know? We don't have roadies or nothing, we just do everything ourselves. How would you support them? How would I support other bands? Uh, buy tapes, go to shows, you know? Help other bands as much as I can, you know? We help all the, our friends are in bands and we help them all out if they need to borrow an amp or whatever. No problem, you know, we help everybody. White, I'm the lead guitarist and the singer of Morbid Scream. Um, why did you decide to do this festival? Um, well, it was probably because it was the biggest thing happening. I mean, it's like the local Texas jam here. It's really cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just one whole big get together, no glam, no poser. It's just one straight to the hard thrash festival. It's really cool. Um, if and when you ever like get on a record label and get successful, will you still support underground bands? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely yes, we will. How would you support them? I would, well, first of all, I would give them advice, help them out, I would help them get their band moving, get it around, you know, get it, people knowing of them, get demos out, help them, you know, set up shows and hopefully help them get them on a label, if ever possible. <laughs>
name is Turner, and I'm from Talon. And why did you decide to play this festival? Well, we put it together with Underground Records, and the reason why we did it is so we can show the club owners in around Dallas how many people that our kind of music draws, and maybe they'll get a club that it'll be cool enough where the pigs can't hassle it. Curse. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean to say that word. And then skinheads, the Nazi ones, can't close down and keep hardcore and heavy metal bands from playing. And that's what the Pagan Fest, I think, is about anyway. That's why we put it together. Um, when and if you ever become successful and get, in a, get on a record label, will you still support underground local bands? <laughs> Hell yeah. How would, you support, how would you support them? I would do more gigs like this, more free shows. Do you think that the Pagan Fest could become as traditional as Texas Jam? Uh, if we get enough support and nobody holds us back in the way, I think someday it will be as popular. We're hoping it will. Anyway, thanks DMB Chicks for the interview. I know y'all got. I know y'all got to bail. Check. 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 As, as an organizer for the documentary, have you been having problems with any of the bands? No!